As I'm recording this video, there were people e-dating in my server right now. That's not good. But that's besides the point. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about basically having a part that just changes to a random color every like two seconds, right? Now you might say, okay, bite blocks, you know, what is, why would I ever need that, okay? And you might not, but here's the thing. You might learn a thing or two, okay? I've made a video on gradients and like half the comments there are like, I didn't know that was a thing. Like really? Like that's, that's the first thing I learned, okay? So I'm now realizing that many people actually do not know a lot of things features in, Ro in Roblox Studio, right? So we're going to be going over them one by one, starting with a parts color. So the very first thing you have to know is that we will be using the color property, not brick color, right? So in case you don't know, they, they're both kind of the same, where you change one and the other will change as well. But brick color is Roblox's custom like color value, right? So brick color is, um, it's like a ward, right? So if you want to change the brick color, you have to make it equal to a specific ward. But if you want to change the color, you can use any single color in the color wheel using these three numbers, RGB, right? So, you know, that's what I want to use because you just have a lot more options using color. Um, the next thing to note is that we have to script it, right? So you have to kind of understand how scripts work. And you also have to understand how random works. How can we generate a random number and actually put that into the color? So what I'll do is I'll make a, you know, a script in server script service. And because we want this to loop, because we want this to be like, you know, a forever thing, let's say every two seconds, I'll say while wait to do. So this will make a loop that will run every two seconds, right? And what I'll do actually above is I'll make a variable for the part. So I'll say local part is equal to workspace dot part, right? Actually, actually, I guess wait for child just so we know that it lo it's loaded. Okay, we'll, yeah, wait for child part. And then, how do we change the part's color, right? How do we do that? Well, we know that it has a color property, so we can say parts, oh wait, yeah, <laughs> part.color. I wonder if people are still e-dating in my server. You should go check it out in the description. Part.color, right? And as you can see, it's a color three value, right? So here it tells us what value it is. It's a color three, so if we want to change the color, we have to make it equal to a color three value. And then we can make it for dot new, dot from RGB, from HS, I don't know what these are. I always use from RGB. And the reason I use from RGB is because it allows us to use the numbers that are here, right? So uh, the number is from zero to 255, right? So all of these three numbers can either be zero or 255. And I believe from new is very similar, but from what from new does, uh, or no, no, just new. What new does is it only allows us to go from zero to one, right? Which I don't know. That's not that's not like a like it's the same thing, right? But it's just I don't know. I, from RGB looks better, and you can actually see it here as well. So I, I use from RGB, and then you know you can change the color here, right? And then if you, if I want to make it green, you know it just automatically gives me the numbers. So we have these three numbers, right? You know that's 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 pretty cool so now if i run this every two seconds it's going to set the parts color to be this color but what i want to do is i want to take these three numbers and i want to randomly generate a number every two seconds right so i want these three numbers to be randomly generated how do you randomly generate a number you do math dot random you give it a minimum number and then a maximum number so it cannot go below zero and it cannot go above 255 and it's going to give me a random number in between. And this is great because, you know, this the numbers here only go from 0 to 255. So what I do is I just, you know, I copy this. And I just say this number like that. Oh, wait. Like that. So I replace the three numbers with a math.random value. So now every two seconds, the part's color is going to be equal to a color 3 from RGB with these three random numbers. So I'm just gonna run the game. And so what running the game does, by the way, is it doesn't actually like summon your character, right? So you're basically like a spectator. Okay, there we go, yeah. So as you can see, every two seconds, it switches to a completely random color. If I, if I look at the part, yeah, there we go. There we go. So as you can see, it just randomly generates the numbers and puts them inside this color three value which then we make that equal to the parts color. There we go, very simple. So actually I will give you a challenge, 
okay? I will give you a challenge. Try doing the same thing, but with the parts size, okay? So the part size, it is, um, yeah, that, that size. So it, it, it's also three numbers, but it's not a color three value, okay? So type in part.size and see what value you should be using. And then I would say make the size, like, like for each number, make it go from one with the minimum to let's say 100 being the maximum, okay? So in your math.random, make this to one and make this to 100. And then, you know, obviously just, you know, have that loop every two seconds. So basically do, do what I did with color, except just with size, right? Where the minimum size per number can be one and the maximum is 100, okay? So do that challenge. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So in the comments, in the description, check out my courses. I wonder if people are still e-dating in my server, but that's besides the point. We are back to basics. Thank you for watching.